Hello, hello. Oh, Iran, yes. Nigeria. Nigeria, Iran, Afghanistan. Welcome, welcome. All right, Miss Honey really wants to say hi, so we'll give a little shout out. Here's Miss Honey. She wants to be on the on the call too. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, um, should we do our intros? It looks like we have a pretty good crowd here. Sounds like a plan, um, yes. And we can just get going. So, um, so sorry everybody, my, ma my name is Joey. I am the director at Portfolio. Um, and we are super excited to kick off this, hopefully um, the first in kind of a series of conversations between Vectorworks and and Morfolio Trace, um, the team here. And just to give you a little bit of behind the scenes and learn about who is uh, helping run the, the teams behind here, um, and to learn a little bit about the, the back history of our, our companies and how things are working. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to, to um, drop them in the comments. Um, we're going to be pretty brief though, so we probably won't have too much time for questions. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hand it over, uh, to Luis, introduce yourself and, um, kick off the conversation. Excellent. Thank you, Joey. Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, my name is Luis. I'm an architect at the, uh, at Vectorworks. Uh, we got quite a few over here and, um, one of the ones that are, I'm a big fan of Morfolio, I gotta tell you, but at the same time, um, it's been years for me since I've been drafting, and I'm talking by hand, I'm talking by CAD, <laughs> and doing 3D models, and just recently, not too long ago, I actually discovered the power of Morfolio. That was pretty cool, so uh, I'm glad I have the chance to talk to you because I got so many questions. I got quite a few questions. You mind if I start with one? Sure. Because I always wanted to ask you this. I made <laughs> a few times in some events, and we, you and I made some webinars. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I had no idea that there was such a, uh, an app. Um, I don't remember when I started getting my first, uh, I saw this first iPad, for example, and you guys came along. What actually brought you to the market? How do you come up with Morfolio? Yeah, Please. great question. So the way Morfolio was uh, created was there was um, a team of four architects who had these really cool iPads. Um, and you know we're we're watching Netflix or doing whatever with them, um, but really wanted to take this tool that was a really great entertainment tool and figure out a way to turn it into a design tool as well. And so that was kind of the impetus for Morfolio was how do we take this device that um, is so um, ubiquitous and kind of everywhere, but turn it into a real design tool and to make it a really fun experience to draw and sketch with as well. Um, and so that was kind of always the goal and has remained our goal is to create a really fun drawing experience on the iPad. Um, and I know with Vectorworks too, um, there's always been an interest in this idea of from sketch to BIM. Um, could you share a little bit about what that looks like for Vectorworks? Well, I gotta tell you, uh, sketch to BIM was a tagline that we, um, that we envisioned a long time mm. ago. Um, because, you know, like any design, we start with ideas and we put them on, I think we start with paper, but I'm going to go back in time. When you mm -hmm. take a sketch and you sort of uh, take a photo or scan it and bring, you can bring it into Vectorworks and then we can create some basic mass model from it. And then once you take it to the next level, then you can take a, a, a really detailed, intricate 3D model in a beam format. So the whole goal was actually to uh, uh, get the drawings out. Uh, mm -hmm. But then you guys came along and uh, you just opened the door for a different level of sketch. So um, <laughs> um, that's how, that's why I was so, I don't mm. know, man, I, I just became a fan at that point. That's fascinating. Super cool. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, I just mentioned it were fun because it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty interesting to actually grab this little pencil and then start sketching. Yeah. That and makes it really interesting. So you just heard me saying that I'm a, I'm a big fan and I like it. But what do you hear on your side from your own users? Yeah. So we get a lot of uh, 
we get a lot of like feedback from different places um and we hear what people are really loving the main thing like you mentioned is like people just find drawing and sketching with trace really fun um the ability to take your ipad and your uh your pencil and be anywhere you're untethered from your desk um you don't have to worry about having a printer to access your drawings and, and do everything um just makes it a really great experience um and one of the things that people really really love too is this ability to be able to draw and sketch on top of 3d models um and uh including being able to kind of bring over drawings from vectorworks and be able to use them in trace so i'm curious what does that process look like on the vectorworks side to get 3d models from vectorworks into into trace okay i'm gonna tell you the insights of that aspect the uh, the very very first time when you have the uh, when I had the iPad and uh, I thought it was it was just a matter of taking a photo to a sketch or something, and then sure. okay my intuition says maybe bring an image, uh, find an image JPEG PNG bring it into more into, into trace, and then I discover that three D model geometry can actually be brought into the uh, into the application and that was like what that was interesting because in yeah, vector, game changer. vector files in different formats. One of them that I uh, that I, that we tried was OBJ, for example. Great, um, that, was, that was a good result. STF files, no problem. DWG files, something that we can also export. Uh, 3DS files. But I learned working with you that geometry is very important, and in some cases you don't even need the textures that some right. of the forms actually bring. And uh, and you and I worked on a project, and you said, hey, why don't you just keep it lighter? So you actually gave me a key point of how to tailor my geometry in vectors so you can make magic in, on your side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You don't, you don't need every little detail to be able to sketch and draw on top of the 3D model. You can really work with a really basic geometry even and, and kind of envision the design and the sketch from that basic uh, kind of building block mm -hmm. model even. So I just gave you what I learned, but at the same time, I know that you <laughs> you are in charge of uh, really improving the app. So I wonder what is your mechanic to actually listen to what people want in, in the app? Yeah, good How question. do you do that? So we have, we have a few um, kind of different channels for people to, to share feedback. Instagram is one where we just, you know, people comment and we hear what people say and what they like and what they um, want improved. So that's one outlet. Um, all of our social channels, um we have support request uh form and then our email support as well um and then just having one-on-one -on -one conversations with users and um we do office visits for free to to any architecture or design office as well and so those are really important sessions as well to be able to hear someone uh kind of watch them work through the um work through the process and be able to um get feedback directly like that. And so we definitely, we have kind of a roadmap of our own, um, but we also are always listening to what the community wants and, and helping that kind of inform our priority list, including um, the the integration of Vectorworks and Morfolio. And so that's something that's definitely like high on the list. Um, and one of the reasons why uh, we kind of worked with Vectorworks as well to offer a special promotion of Morfolio Trace um, to any Vectorworks user um, who hasn't tried out Trace before. So do you want to talk a little bit about what that um, promotion oh, looks like? I'm just glad that you made it happen because <laughs> I, I, I really want to spread the, uh, I got to tell you, the, the, the joy of actually <laughs> sketching. So um, uh, for our users, we have a three months, uh, three months free. Give it a try. Um, give it a try for a one year subscription. Um, you get a three months on us and you can redeem the code on our uh, users portal that's awesome yeah exactly um so that's available through the the vectorworks website um and when you're in vectorworks you'll be able to see that yeah. and uh try out trace for three months now i gotta tell you um and i'm, I'm i get it, i get too excited about this because i know <laughs> some of my friends are actually watching the uh, very, very first time, and you asked me this, like, when was the first time do we actually learn about Trace? Yeah. So um, uh, a few years back, we had the Design Summit, Arizona. Maybe some people actually in the uh, in our uh, our visitors actually went to that mm -hmm. place. Uh, Arizona, we had a nice group, about, I don't know, over 500 people, all uh, a really nice environment. 
we went out for dinner with uh, quite a few architects, some of them actually from uh, Chile, uh, Chile, Costa Rica, other places, really nice table, nice dinner. One of them, mm. all architects, they, uh, he got his iPad and said like, hey, I got a sketch that I need to show you. We were just wow when we saw that <laughs> little sketch. He had the pen and started sketching. And the one thing that I, I got to tell you, the one thing that was just uh, mind blowing is, and I know that you see this all the time, is getting that little ruler, <laughs> that little ruler on the screen and then just start tracing yes, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Lines it's on a magic it. moment for sure. That was like, oh, wow moment. <laughs> And, uh, and that was the first time that we heard that. One. So um, I'm, I'm glad we got to connect. Yeah, no, that's, that's beautiful. That, there's, there's a few moments in Trace that are just like kind of, when, when people see them for the first time, it's always like this like very special moment. The ruler is definitely one of them. It's kind of such a basic thing, yes. but when you see it on the screen, um, it's such a, a special thing and like the way that you can interact with it and everything, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, now, you and I worked on a, on a recent webinar because, you know, we wanted to uh, ex uh, tell everybody, for example, the things that we experienced. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, and I remember that in that webinar, we started with a model in Vectorworks, a uh, very basic model. We pass it on to you. You actually made some uh, amazing magic on your, on your sketch <laughs> side. But there was one aspect that it was interesting, which is the uh, how in either in Morfolio or, or in Vectors, we can use some AI visualization of it. So uh, is there something going on with Morfolio <laughs> and AI? Is yeah, so we, we have plans and we're, we're kind of in the research phase for uh, these ideas of how um, AI could be integrated into, into Trace. Um, and one of the main ways right now that, that we see people using it is this process of kind of sketch to, to, um, to Vectorworks to AI, um, which is what we demonstrated in the webinar that we did recently. Um, so if you're interested in, if anyone here is interested in learning about that workflow, definitely check out the, um, the, the webinar for, on Vectorworks. Um, it's an AI credit as well. Um, but it, it goes through that exact process of how to take your sketch from Trace, bring it into Vectorworks, and create some really beautiful AI images um, from those sketches that you create. So it's, it's, it's a super exciting process, um, and we, we have ideas for how that might happen in Trace or how AI might be integrated into Trace as well. Um, but that, that workflow between Trace, Vectorworks, um, and Veris AI is a really, really powerful one and definitely worth, um, it, it'll kind of transform your workflow if you get into it. Definitely I'm really glad that we're actually working together on this because even if you don't have it in the app, our collaboration actually makes it possible. And I think we may have uh, time for a, a few answers. Uh, do you get a chance to see some of the uh, questions? Yeah, did anybody? write in I see one about um, asking um, if trace is going to be coming to Android right now we don't have any plans um, but we also don't know what the future holds so it's possible um, any other last questions from the folks here if not I think we can wrap it there and um, yeah this was awesome it was a lot of fun to chat with you Luis thanks um, thank you for all the, the excellent questions, and I loved getting to learn a little bit about uh, the, the kind of background of, of Vectorworks as well. We'll have to do more of these. <laughs> we have to do it, yes. All right. All right. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Ciao. Bye.